Hello everybody, my name is Lane and this is my submission for the 2021 International Car Show sponsored or held by DeBoss Garage. This is my 1949 Crosley Rat Rod. The body is a 49 Crosley Station Wagon. It came out of, I believe, Michigan. Uh, maybe it was Minnesota. It was somewhere up there, I don't know for sure. Um, frame is a 91 Dodge, one ton, D350 chassis, Dana 70 rear end. Um, I shortened it three feet in the middle and did a triangulated four link under the back, airbags on all four corners. The engine is a early 70s, I'm not quite sure what year exactly, uh, 472 inch Cadillac. I rebuilt it, went through it, freshened it up, Comp 270 cam. Nothing extreme, but give her a little bit of cackle. Uh, 48 to 54 Chevy truck radiator. Um, Trans is a Buick Super Turbine 400 that has the switch pitch variable stall torque converter. Everything you see I've done myself. The only thing I didn't do on this car was make the drive shaft. I didn't have any way to build and balance it. So I went and had one made for my, for this. Um, firewall is all riveted paneling to strengthen it. A few random holes that jam like a nine millimeter shell casing in there. I filled the antenna hole with the 12 gauge brass. The brake lines are actually, I used 22 shells for a brass bushing to keep it from wearing through the line itself. Um, a lot of little things, the roller chain for the throttle cable, using no wrench for the trans dipstick tube handle. My bracketry for the steering linkage, using a roller chain and a ball bearing. The exhaust, I just finished up yesterday. It's uh, two sets of small block Chevy inch and three quarter primary header tubes. I chopped those up, used the bins to build my own primaries, and then they go down into a five inch Turn down. It's actually a exhaust pipe off of a Volvo Semi. I can, haven't started it yet, but I cannot wait to hear how those things sound. Uh, what else? It has. I put line lock on it, so I'm gonna lock out the rear axle and keep the front brakes so I can uh, manipulate at will. Do some massive burnouts. This is parts for my other project, 65 Caddy. I'll put that in another class. Um, I've been working on this car for a few years. The, I picked up the body of it in 2016, stripped it down. It had a, sh the frame was shot, and the engine was seized up, the steering was locked up, holes in the floor basically no floor left in it when I got it so it really wasn't worth trying to restore plus this freaking cool patina so I started looking for different things that I could do and came up with this my visor old barn tin and angle iron my bracketry some welded up skeleton hands I need to finish that up I'm trying to figure out how to make that adjustable so I can lift it up to be able to somewhat see stoplights. There's <laughs> there's no seeing stoplights, but would like to at least be able to try to see them. Um, internally mounted brake master, manual, there's no vacuum booster or anything. Inside we have a brake pedal and gas pedal, some chain, a hammer if you get that reference uh, my other steering column bracket another ball bearing and roller chain full set of auto meter gauges 
Um, shift handle is, I believe, off of a uh, John Deere manure spreader. Trimmed it down a little bit and made my own linkage bracket. Uh, steering wheel, roller chain, and these are actually the original Crosley connecting rods off the car. Um, I wrapped the leather myself, all hand stitched. Keep from searing my hand on a hot summer day. All the switches have a purpose. Main power, auxiliary power, running lights, headlights, high beams here. Uh, air ride compressor and haven't decided yet so they all have reasons to be there but cycles nicely as you can see there's not a whole lot of visibility out of it but I love it still have to finish the floors it's not far off from running but I need to finish the floors, finish plumbing in the fuel tank. I used a 31 gallon tank out of a 73 Chevy Blazer. Um, so I need to finish plumbing that in and route myself the fuel filler neck up to the side and then build a subfloor to cover it. Mount my battery box and my uh, compressor housing on top of that and air ride tank. Um, but yeah, she's almost ready to rock. Get you a view of the rear end here. Bags, four link. She's going to be fun, that's for sure. I can't wait to drive this thing. Yep, there she is. All right. Thanks, everybody, and good luck to everyone else who entered.